Now, what are some of the signs of Laylatul Qadr? The Prophet ﷺ says, Laylatul Qadri, Laylatun Samha. Laylatul Qadr is a soft night, it's a gentle night. La harra wa la barida. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's a very cool night, it's a very comforting night. Tusbihu shamsu sabihataha da'ifatan hamra. The sun rises that day, da'ifa hamra. It's, it's weak, meaning it doesn't have rays and it's, it's a reddish complexion, it's a reddish color. So you find every year in Ramadan people taking pictures of the sun and trying to post them. Now here's the question. Was that a sign for that particular year? Like the year where the Prophet ﷺ had mud on his face. It rained a lot that night, or was that, uh, or is that a general sign? Al-Qadi Ayyad, he says there's two possibilities. One of them is that that's a distinctive sign that Allah Azza has given for Laylatul Qadr. Alright, so, and, and every year you kind of look through those pictures and some of them seem a little bit more clear and you don't see the rays on them. And the second one which he said is very beautiful, he says that the amount of angels that come down on Laylatul Qadr take away the rays of the sun. <laughs> so subhanAllah, even if a lot of people were praying Qiyamul Layl on a night, the amount of malaika that were descending on the earth, their wings, the, the light of their, of, their, of their creation, dulls the light of the sun altogether. So Allah Alam, this seems to be a sign of Laylatul Qadr every year. So looking at the sun and seeing if it's rayless, it's good. However, let's say that you catch it on the 22nd, you know, or 23rd night, someone posts a picture and you slept through that entire night and the sun looked absolutely rayless. Should you just say, oh well, maybe next Ramadan? No, التمسوها في آخر ليلة. Remember the hadith of the Prophet Wasallam. seek it until the very last night. Because imagine how bad you'd feel if another picture came out <laughs> later on in the, in the month. And guess what? It looked, it looked rayless as well, or it looked even more rayless if that's even possible, right? So the point is, Allah left it mysterious to keep you on your toes. And the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last part of the night, as is the best part of every night. So the best part of Laylatul Qadr is the last third of the night as well. As the Prophet ﷺ says, في الليل ساعة, that there is an hour of the night that لا يوافقها عبد مسلم يسأل الله من خير الدنيا والآخرة إلا أعطاه الله ما سأل. That there is an hour of the night that Allah subhanahu wa taala, if He gives you the tawfiq, if He gives you the success to be able to ask Allah subhanahu wa taala in that part of the night, that He would certainly give you the whatever you asked Him of this dunya and the akhirah. There's nothing you could ask Allah at that point of the night from this world or the hereafter, except that Allah subhanahu wa taala would give it to you. As for the du'as that we make that night, Allahumma innaka afuwun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are al-afu. You are the one who pardons. You love the part, you love to pardon, so pardon me, so forgive me. You love to forgive, so forgive me. Then Abu Sa'id radiallahu ta'ala anhu says, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi came out to us one night in the last time. And Rasulullah sallallahu said, I saw this dream where I was doing sujood in ma and teen, in water and mud. So it was a rainy night, and it's a sign of Laylatul Qadr. So the Prophet ﷺ said, so whoever amongst you was doing i'tikaf, come back to the masjid. So Abu Sa'id radiallahu anhu said, all of us that were with the Prophet ﷺ in the middle tonight, we quickly came back to the masjid to continue our i'tikaf. And he said, we looked at the sky, and there was not a cloud in the sky. So it was a clear night. So the assumption is maybe this is a night to come ahead. Then he said, we all gathered back in the masjid to do i'tikaf. And he said, suddenly this cloud came right over. SubhanAllah, completely clear sky, calm night. There was no rain whatsoever. And this cloud came right over us and it started to rain. So we started to pray. And the Prophet ﷺ was leading them in prayer. The salah of the Prophet ﷺ was long and beautiful. And he said, and I remember the Prophet Sallallahu face was covered in mud. SubhanAllah. So exactly as the dream that he had seen, alayhi salat was salam. What night was this, by the way? It was the 23rd night. It's actually one of the strongest evidences for the scholars that say that we don't know that's the 27th night. It rotates amongst the last 10 nights and that was the 23rd night. We ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to allow us to catch Laylatul Qadr. As the Prophet ﷺ said, Laylatul Qadr is a night that travels. So it is not the same night on every Ramadan. Mm. It's not. And this is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have concealed in order to let His servants compete with regards to ibadah and not to sit back 
rest, recline, and be lazy. Because I assure you, I assure you, if it is confirmed today that Layla al-Qadr was the first day of Ramadan, people will just sit back and that's it. Khalas, my night of ibadah was better than 1,000 months, why do I have to continue? So that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah the Almighty concealed uh, on what night will it be. He just said, it is one of the nights of Ramadan, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa limited uh, the, uh, the time to the last 10 nights of Ramadan. It is from sunset till Fajr. Also Surah Al-Qadr says, Salamun hiya hatta matla' al-Fajr. So once the dawn appears, it's over. The night is over. Those who did not really get to work, it's over. Because you can tell, at sunrise, the sun would rise without sunbeams or rays that you can look at it with your naked eye and it would not hurt you. It would look like a moon. And that night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا On that night, Jibreel alayhi salam a ruh, and the rest of the angels, they descend. They come down to our earth. They enjoy the recitation of the Qur'an. They join us in ibadah. So I want you to imagine that a place that's full of angels. How will it be? Very pleasant weather. Very nice neither cold nor hot. It may be raining, because rain is a, is a sign of mercy. Mm-hmm. And that's why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked us to, to make dua while it's raining, where your dua is most likely to be answered and accepted. And uh, since the angels are everywhere, I don't think you can hear the barking of a dog, because the angels do not exist in a place where the dog is in. So, Al-Ard will be full of peace. Whether will be very pleasant, neither cold nor hot. And it is your opportunity to seize that night in ibadah in order to earn the reward of worshiping Allah for more than 83 years continuously. Which night is it? It is one of the last 10 nights of Ramadan. So work on them once they begin, from now, start practicing. Because Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha Allah narrated that whenever the last 10 nights of Ramadan would begin, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam would do the following. Shadda mi'zarahu would fasten his waist belt. It's a sign that he's going to work very hard and mm. labor. And ahya layla, ayqada ahla, and he would awaken his family. Everybody get up, let's pray. Wa ahya layla, he would make his night like the day, alive. Recitation, dua, dhikr, prayer. Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha ardaha, when she asked the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam what to say, if this Naylatul Qadr, he said, say, Allahumma innaka afuun, tuhibbu al-afwa, fa'fu anni. That is the dua to be said, if it is known and confirmed, it is Laylatul Qadr, yet it will be confirmed next morning. Just last thing, I know that we're running out of time. I remember when I was very young and I joined uh, a group of people who worship on their own uh, way. And on the 27th, they celebrated that night. There was plenty of food, sweet and drinks and everything. So mm. we ate our fill and we drank to the point that we could not even pray tarawih. Mm. So the real celebration of the last 10 nights and the odd nights, and Laylatul Qadr, if you're confirmed, if you know when it is it, is by praying, by making dhikr, by reciting the Qur'an, and by saying, Allahumma innaka afu wun tuhibbu al-afwa fa'fu'anna.